Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tacky Tuesday. If you don't already know, Tacky Tuesday is where we go over EMS cardiology lessons, and this week we're going to be going over the cardiac rhythm torsades de points, or torsades for short. So first, before we get into a definition, I just want to give you the proper pronunciation. I'm going to do my best on this one. The proper pronunciation of torsades. It is actually of French origin, so it is torsade de pointe. And it translates into twisting of the peaks or twisting of the points. But for this video, I will be referring to it as torsades. Torsades is an abnormally rapid rhythm that originates in the ventricles of the heart. This erratic rhythm is a form of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, and it's typically associated with a prolonged QT interval. Okay, so let's quickly go over some of the characteristics of torsades. Your rate is typically 200 to 250 beats per minute. It is a very irregular rhythm. There is no P wave, no PR interval, and the QRS complexes are wide. But unlike your monomorphic VTAC, the QRSs do vary quite a bit in size. With that being said, torsades is a very rare rhythm, but there are certain causes and risk factors associated with this deadly rhythm. And they are certain medications different types of drugs, drug overdoses, electrolyte imbalances, heart failure, being a female and being on heart medications, which is actually quite surprising because that is a large patient population that we run into in the 911 EMS setting, but the rhythm torsades is not something that we run into quite a bit. And the last one is other underlying health issues. So how would we as EMS providers treat torsades? It all depends on two things. Just like with monomorphic ventricular tachycardia, we have to ask ourselves, does the patient have a pulse or are they pulseless? If the patient's pulseless, we want to work this just like we would a cardiac arrest. CPR, oxygen, airway, IV access, and defibrillation. The only thing that would be different is that we would give magnesium. So if the patient does have a pulse, we want to give oxygen, establish an IV, give magnesium, and cardioversion. And I'm just listing possible treatments. I'm not saying that it has to be done in this order. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next week. Bye!